Essentially, the Sunday Telegraph's implying that those who campaigned to keep MPs' expenses under wraps may have had their reasons, as they unleash a range of allegations against backers of a bill aimed at partially protecting Parliament from the Freedom of Information Act. For example, they say former Tory Chief Whip David McLean, who introduced it, spent more than £20,000 doing up his second home at taxpayers' expense, then sold it. The senior Labour election coordinator Fraser Kemp claimed for two DVD players one month apart and for 16 sheets in the space of seven weeks for his one-bedroom flat, he has admitted to making mistakes. Conservative MP Julian Lewis is reported to have claimed nearly £2,400 on kitchen appliances and over £4,800 on redecorating his house. And Labour's David Cleland bought out his partner's share of a joint mortgage in a deal which is claimed cost the taxpayer thousands of pounds plus legal fees. Perhaps anticipating further problems, Gordon Brown's pledged in the News of the World that no MP who has defied the rules will serve in his government. Though commentators warn he best not be seen to be trying to outsmart David Cameron. If they start turning it into a party political battle, I think the public will react against that as well because the public recognise that they are pretty much all as bad as each other. It must be clear by now to most MPs exactly how much their constituents don't like them and why. The hope being, from the point of view of the reputation of this place, that that message consolidates to the point that when they're presented with a set of proposals designed to comprehensively and collectively clean up their act, they go for it. In the short term, they know they must at least look serious, as the latest polls confirm fears that the smaller groups, including the UK Independence Party and the British National Party, are enjoying an anti-sleaze boost. We knew people were angry, but Labour are at their lowest vote share ever, not just in this Parliament, but since polling records began, and it's quite clear that people are prepared to desert the main parties in their droves. And just to complete Parliament's woes, there are reports in today's papers that the Queen has sided with many of her people and told Gordon Brown at their last weekly audience that she's deeply troubled by the scandal engulfing it. Peter Spencer, Sky News, Westminster.